So I'm just going to show you how to test pH and KH. Um, various fish come from various natural environments, therefore have different pH and KH levels. So it's important to know what the pH and KH requirements of your fish are. Um, in general, um, most fish can handle more alkaline water than fish that handle alkaline water can't handle acid water. So acid water is the real bad thing. So you basically buy a pH and a KH test kit. The way you test it is pretty simple. It comes with a little test tube like this. Then you just get the sample water in a syringe or something out of the aquarium or just take it out of the aquarium. Then you basically just fill the test tube up to the line. Then you get your pH solution which comes inside there. It says three drops. So you put three drops in, one, two, three. Then you shake it and then you just compare it to the colour chart. So here's a little colour chart here. Um, this little colour chart comes inside this packet. You basically just measure it up and you go, right, that's very blue. So that's um, 7.8 plus. So for most standard tropical fish, that's fine. But you'll find various fish like angels, neons, discus. They don't like the water alkaline. They want it to be a little bit more acidic, in which you need to add pH down. Now, the other thing is the KH. The KH helps is your buffering capacity, helps to stabilise the pH. In a lot of tap waters, there is high pH and low KH, but it's important to know what your tap water is. KH is the big killer, because not many people actually know much about KH. Now, the way you test KH is different. There is no colour chart for the KH. It's a titration test, which means you're counting the drops until it changes colour. So we put the same amount of water into the um, test tube. Then what we're going to do is put in one drop of KH, like that. Then we're going to put the lid on it, we're going to shake it, and the colour comes out blue. Now you don't count the first drop because that is the, um, um, the reagent drop or whatever you want to call it. Then you go one drop, and then you shake it, then you put in another drop, so two, three, four drops. And you shake it, still blue. Five, six, seven, eight drops. Still blue. Nine drops. And see how it started to change? It was blue, now it's gone to a green colour. And then 10 drops, not including the first drop. Now it's yellow. So you're basically counting the drops between when it starts off blue and turns to yellow. So it's called a titration test. So this um, level is 10, so that's very high. If you had standard tropical fish, you'd want the color to change after four to six drops. Goldfish, four to six drops. But things like cichlids, that's a, a nice high KH, which is perfect for cichlids. So the way that you change your KH is you do a partial water change to lower it, um, or you can use pH down, will lower it, or you add KH buffer if you want to increase it. But basically, knowing how to test pH and KH is extremely important for all fish, and that there is a freshwater test kit, and then you can also get your high range test kit, which is a bit better for cichlids, or for saltwater. Something you must be aware of, pH and KH.